Hi everyone, welcome back and if you haven't already done so, just pause the video and hit the subscribe button right now because I know you love the content of this channel. And if you're feeling extra generous, hit the thanks button and contribute. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can easily add borders or generate, I call it generating borders. It's basically defining borders around your objects. Why would you like to do that? Because for example, if you want to get instant segmentation like results just by using regular unit, by using semantic segmentation, then one trick you can do is to add borders around your objects and include that as part of your unit training, meaning you're converting your binary segmentation in this example into a multi-class segmentation, where one of your classes here is your border pixels. And after the segmentation, you can remove the border pixels or you can use these border pixels to initiate a watershed type of segmentation so you can uh, separate these objects. And if you guys are interested in, uh, or if you want me to show how to do that process, I can record another video for later. But in this case, I'm just going to focus on this very simple task. You probably know how to do it. If so, obviously watch other videos uh, from my channel, but if not, continue watching this. So our goal is to take our uh, masks that you see uh, in the middle right there and add some sort of a border. Maybe we'll go one pixel in to the object and five or six pixels around the object just so we have a good balance when we are defining these borders. So let's not delay this any further. Let's jump into the code. Okay, so I'll go through the code in a minute. Let's just see what we are working with here. So the goal is, of course, in this example, we're not gonna do anything with our images because this, this doesn't matter. This is only when you want to do your uh, unit and uh, image segmentation, which I'll uh, record if you guys ask for it by hitting the like button or leaving some comments. But for now, we are going to only work with the masks and this is how my masks are. And the goal is to read each one and add border around the objects of interest. Okay, let's jump in with that knowledge. First thing first, uh, the I already mentioned what the goal is. Erode one pixel, just, and uh, dilate a few pixels and define whatever that region is as our border. So it's pretty straightforward, but let's go through the process. I'm going to use OpenCV. So let's go ahead and import the libraries and NumPy, matplotlib for plotting, and glob to go through each file. That's it. Now, this is the meat of what I'm planning on doing right now. I promise this is going to be a very short video, so uh, it would be very efficient for you. So, so uh, this function I am going to call later on by going through each file in my uh, in the list that I in the directory I just showed you, and then it just applies uh, this function, the generate border function. So now let's see what this generate border function actually does. So there are two parameters, in fact, three uh, that it takes. One is uh, the image itself. So it takes the input image and does something to that input image. Well, the image is a mask in our case. Uh, and there is a parameter called border size, like how, how thick do you want your border to be? I'm setting it to five pixels for now. And how many erosions do you want to do? Like we are eroding a little bit into the object. So do you want to do the erosions? Like how many times do you want to do that? I recommend one in general, but uh, it depends upon the size of your object. So uh, let's leave that uh, default for now. And what is it going to do? Step one is to erode the image. Yeah, you can use, uh, or if, if you don't like OpenCV, you can use uh, scikit image, for example. Erosion is available in multiple packages, so it's up to you. But the idea is I'm eroding by how much. I defined a kernel of uh, three by three right there of once np dot once so uh, that's the kernel i hope you know what that means uh, this is pretty straightforward let me not explain the basics of python here let's remove all parameters from my previous run and let's do that so np is not defined let's run these one more time there you go and let us run this specific line so you see what I'm talking about. So this is basically a three by three kernel of all ones, that's it. And why am I defining that? So I can use that kernel to erode my image. Okay, so this erodes the image. And then the next thing is to dilate the image. How long, by how much do we want to dilate the image? Well, for that, let's use that, uh, let's leave that to the user, meaning the user can define 
you if you are using it what the border size is if the border size that you define is 5 so our kernel size is 11 2 times the border size plus 1 that's the kernel size that I'm defining right there and plus 1 to keep this odd and not even and then you have your uh, and then we are defining the dilation kernel just like we defined our erosion kernel like np.1 3 by 3 here it's np.1 whatever the size is right there kernel size 11 by 11 and that's it now we are dilating our uh, eroded image by that many pixels okay so that's the that's our dilation and uh, we are almost done so now we have to go back to the difference between these two images so we dilated one image and we eroded another image so what happens when you take your dilated image minus the eroded image that gives you the border that's it that's exactly what we are doing right there so we are saying we are ever uh, the dilated so we are in fact to the border itself we plan on assigning a uh, pixel value of 127 so here we are replacing the 255 a pixel value because in my case in your case it may be one i don't know in my case these pixel values for the bright uh, regions for the objects is 255 if you have a mask where your pixel value is one obviously change the code to reflect that so i'm just changing the uh, in the dilated image wherever i have a pixel value of 255 change that to 127 yeah and then in the above dilated image converted the eroded parts to pixel value of 255 so all this operation is basically taking my dilated minus the eroded and assigning a value of 127 to the border pixels that's exactly what i'm trying to do right here and it returns the original image with the border that's it so i promised you that this is not going to be very tricky this is not going to be very long video all we're doing is take your object erode it keep it on the side take that object dilate it keep it on the side now take the dilated minus the eroded and wherever whatever is remaining convert that or change the pixel value of that to 127 so now when you export your images you have an image with a background of pixel value 0 your object with pixel value 255 and border with a pixel value of 127 or whatever you would like to assign to that uh, border that's it so that's there and then uh, I am I already mentioned that here is my here are my all my images or masks in my case and I'm reading one by one each file in grayscale and then I am applying this generate border uh, uh, function or the method that I just defined up there and uh, I'm writing them to my local directory which I just did in fact if you want me to run this let's go ahead and run this I have 1600 images if I'm not wrong it's a pretty fast operation all we're doing is just erosion and dilation so it should be pretty quick and I'll show you the result as soon as it is done so it's almost getting there 400 as soon as it gets to 900 you should see that but even while it's doing let me go ahead and open it and here is the mask it's still updating this but you can see this is uh, these are the images that we got so sorry let me open let's do this open a new window okay there you go and let's open this so you can see the difference right there and let us view extra large view extra large uh, so you got the idea right there so we are adding this border now you can take these images and define a multi-class semantic segmentation and uh, use watershed to convert your uh, your uh, your uh, segmentation or binary segmentation into almost an instant segmentation type of results again one way you can tell me that uh, you really want me to show you that process is by leaving a comment and of course please do like this video and do not forget about the thanks Thank you guys.